Hey dads and moms, my name is Derek and I wanna to talk to you for a few minutes about what to do with the coronavirus stimulus check. If you've had your hours cut, lost your job, been laid off, got furloughed, whatever the situation, your income is down due to the coronavirus situation. Now, starting today, checks are coming in uh, for any from anywhere from $1,200 to several thousand dollars, generally speaking, depending on what you made last year and how many dependents you have. What should you do with that? What's well, really important, what you do with it, because once you do something with it, that money's gone. I want you to treat this like a gift. Now, all politics aside, because I'm not interested in talking about politics right now, this is a gift. Treat it like a gift. I want you to focus on your four walls what Dave Ramsey calls the four walls, food, utilities, shelter, transportation. All right, that's, that's it. That's what I want you to focus on. You're in a cash flow squeeze right now, maybe more than you've ever felt it before, and I want you to protect your cash flow. With this check stimulus coming in, you have extra cash flow, so do the best you can for yourself. What I want you to do is get caught up and stay caught up on these four things, food, that means no eating out. That means not even supporting your local restaurant that's struggling because you need to focus on you right now. So it's uh, basic groceries, cheap groceries, rice, beans, pasta. For utilities, it's whatever you need for utilities in the home. You know what those are. For shelter, it's making sure that your rent and your mortgage is up to date. Those are probably the most expensive payments you have to make and I want to make sure that you can make them because that is protecting your well-being. And then for transportation, if you have a vehicle loan, it's paying that. Auto insurance, staying up to date, and then gas to get wherever you need to go right now. That's it. Once you have caught up on those, I want you to save the rest of your money so you can stay caught up and pay for those. Now you probably have other loans, whether it's a credit card, or a personal loan, a student loan, whatever it is. Listen, what I want you to do is I want you to call those lenders if you haven't already and ask for financial assistance due to the coronavirus situation because a lot of them, almost all of them, are offering some kind of alternative right now, whether it's just deferred payments for several months or interest-only payments. Whatever the situation, they're helping you out, and I want you to take them up on that. Now, it might sound counterintuitive as a financial coach for me to be telling you not to pay your credit card bill, but here's the deal. The credit card company is going to be fine. It's gonna be fine. I don't want you to pay all your minimum payments and then not have enough money for rent next month or the month after that, all right? So, four walls, ready? Food, utilities, shelter, transportation. That is your focus right now and that needs to be your only focus. Control the controllables and those are four things you can control. Now, just a word about the situation. Listen, we're all feeling the squeeze, right? It's a stressful time. You're probably thinking about money all the time. Uh, that's okay, that's okay. We're gonna get through this one day at a time. This is just a season, it's just a phase, uh, a phase, it's a season that we're gonna get through, all right? The best advice I can give you right now is not to make a financial decision, such a decision that's gonna put you in ruin, financial ruin, six months from now. One day at a time, make wise financial decisions and focus on the four walls, food, utilities, shelter, transportation.